Welcome back to Wrestling in Mom's Basement. This is our Raw Smackdown 205 Live NXT and May Young Classic weekly review show for September 4th, 5th, and 6th. I, of course, am Patch Young. My co host is on my right, Joseph Venuto. It's Mako time. It is Mako time. Ah. Uh, this uh, Raw kicked off where Braun and Duff Drew and the Shield getting arrested. Yep. Uh, they, essentially, it's the Shield formula where it's uh, three men on three men. Uh, three, three on three pull apart brawl. Uh, in the end, the Shield actually end up getting arrested because because they incited a riot. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, if, if you're not t if you're not seeing what's going to happen by the end of the show, right? I think you haven't been watching wrestling that long. Yeah, uh, I thought it was a good segment and brawl to play off of the previous week's angle. Yeah, it, it, it was a very good one. Uh it was still the role formula though of pull part brawls. Yeah. At least those at least those six got away. Uh up next the Bellas defeated Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> uh yeah, it's it's such a barn burner. Uh the Bellas who have ring rust when, you know, they're wrestling full time. Uh versus the less impressive two of the riot squad. Uh, I th I think uh -huh. Liv and Sarah did okay for what you can expect out of them. Uh, Nikki was Nikki. Uh, she she was okay in parts, uh, but it's still Nikki. Uh, and Brie, um, Brie should never do a suicide dive again. Yeah, uh, I I would fear for Bert for Bertie's upbringing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, uh, it was not good at all. Uh, <laughs> nah, no, it wasn't. Uh, actually, it was bad. Uh, the bells didn't look good at all, and Brie almost died. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> on the horrible looking suicide dive. She was got. She almost trapped herself in the middle rope. <laughs> I don't know how that was possible. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I'll next. Uh, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable defeat the Ascension. Um. I, I thought the match was good for what we got. Uh, it showed off Chad Gable in, in a great light. And uh, it essentially, they're not doing anything with Bobby Roode. They're not doing anything with Chad Gable. I've heard of worse ideas than putting them together in a tag team. Yeah. Uh, it was okay to roll. Uh, Roode and Gable maybe a fun, novel tag team. Uh, it was almost scary how much better Gable looked in there, though, than everyone else. Yeah. Uh, simply, everyone... Everyone in there simply existed. As Gable worked for four men. Uh, yeah. He, he's so good at selling you was. Uh, it can also be an easy way to, of turning Bobby Roode heel, too. Yeah. Like, Gable started noticing <laughs> that he does most of the work for the team. Right. And tries to separate himself, and then Bobby pretty much turns heel because of it. Yeah. Uh, up next, Alexa Flair with Elias. So. Yeah, there was really much to really write anything about. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Alexa defeat. It, it was a nice promo that didn't add anything. And Alexa defeat Natalia. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the match was okay itself. Uh, however, I have serious, serious questions on why Natalia tapped to a shitty armbar. It wasn't that shitty. It looked just like brown mist. It, it was a shitty armbar. <laughs> it was a head scissors. To <laughs> the the pretty much storyline is that. Alexa's training in MMA so she can tap out Natalia. Yeah, so she can tap out Natalia and in three minutes. And, and and stay in the ring with Ronda, even though Ronda's pretty much done ju jitsu and judo <laughs> oh, for her, her Yeah, just about her whole life. <laughs> and Alexa's supposed to get get the same amount of experience in about two weeks. <laughs> so uh yeah. Yeah, it was really a good match. Uh it, the aftermath did a solid job of building Rouse <coughs> versus Bliss too. Yeah. Uh, up next, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre defeat the B team to win a World Tag Team Championships. Uh, originally scheduled to be the revival, but uh, Dolph and Drew decided to actually maybe turn a revival face. Yeah, uh, which is kind of an interesting theory. Right. Uh, however. I don't think he literally can hurt the revival at this point because they're so low. Yeah. 
Um, so I, I didn't think the match was a lot more even than I thought it should have been. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much, I thought Doff and Drew should have ran over the B team. Mm -hmm. That didn't necessarily happen. It was like an even ten minute, huh? seven minute. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It was longer, but it wasn't that long. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot even, a lot more even than I than I thought it should have been. Yeah, uh, why well, I hate that the, the that the revival been derailed again. I uh, do like the title change. Yeah. As the B team need to drop them and place at an angle if Doth, Drew, and Braun looking to take over the show. Uh, the match was longer and way more competitive than the WWE Pass said, but the change is good. Uh, up next, Authors of Pain with Drake Mark defeat to Enhancement Tales. Uh, it's sort of the uh, odd choice of bringing in Drake Maverick. For the AOP's new manager, mm -hmm. uh, at that point, why didn't you just call up Paul Ellering? I mean, he he did wonders for the NXT. Right. Uh, and also, it's kind of odd to see uh, Drake Maverick wearing the AOP gear. Yeah, that's cool. it, Like it looks like their mom told them that their little brother had to come with them mm -hmm. and dress like they dress. Yeah. So that there you go, Drake Maverick is part of the Office of Pain. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they look dominant. They look reinvigorated, but I think they, creatively, I think they just have to switch. Ju just that one thing of getting Drake out of that. Yeah, getting Drake out of the AOP gear. Yeah. Uh, as a whole, I did love it. It was a great little squash and AOP needed a mouthpiece. Uh, they weren't going to give him Paul Ellering. Uh, plus, Maverick is all of a sudden being so small. He does make AOP look even bigger. Yeah, he does. Uh, next, uh, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker have a promo. Uh, to me, it was easily the best part of the show. We don't know about that. There's <laughs> other things on this show. They, they, see, they seemingly uh, did it where Shawn was pretty much going to lay out his prediction live in the ring, uh, which would have been uh, which would be odd if they just left it at that. Uh, like, why bring Shawn Michaels in right. just for that? Uh, but we, the, the bell does toll, and Undertaker comes out to a huge surprise. Uh, I think I heard, like, one rumor about it the previous month, like, just after the previous Raw. Okay. Uh, other than that, I hadn't, I hadn't heard yeah. a thing about Undertaker. Yeah, Cole Mill Clark, because I didn't hear nothing yeah. at all. Uh, but it was really cool seeing Taker and Shawn in the ring again. Uh, and Shawn starts uh, pretty much, like, saying out loud and shouting at Undertaker that... He, that he's kept his promise and all, all that stuff. Right. And it, it definitely, it definitely seems like he, he, he might wrestle on the match. Right. <laughs> it, it's it's very odd if you haven't if you haven't seen the promo, go, go and see it to to get what we're saying. Go on to watch something else. Right? Yeah, yeah. You can you can skip it. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, that that's clearly the best part of Raw and. Uh, it, it my my childhood was alive for one night. Yeah, uh, I really liked the uh, for the delivery was very good and how they played off of the past. Don't know how Michael's take her again is going to be, but whatever. But that's Sully Martin. It's too good to turn down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it always seems to happen with Taker. Like I don't even need to see another match of Taker. Taker comes mm -hmm. out. Oh my God! It's Undertaker. All right. <laughs> Goosebumps. Ha yeah. Happiness. Spreads through me. Uh, I'm next. Sasha Banks and Bailey defeat Dana Brooke and Ember Moon. Uh, yeah. Not not only is, did Dana last week drag down Sasha into a, a nothing angle, this week she drags down <laughs> Sasha, Bailey, and Ember, and gives Ember a loss. All right. Uh, and, and essentially she also spread apart from Titus uh, catering as. <laughs> JD, JD from NY him. puts it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't remember much of the match, which is, is strange from coming from Sasha, <laughs> Bailey, and Ember. Uh, then you had Dan and Dunn, you kind of understand it. Uh, it was short, there wasn't much to it, and what, what was there was a good little uh, worst of all, Banks, Bailey, and Moon were a backdrop for a place worldwide breakup. Yeah. Uh, Get get this girl something on on, a, on an evolution. I uh, say evolve. Oh, that's gender Mahal and that taste with Bobby Lashley. 
Uh, thank God the meditation part was very, was very, very short. Um, <coughs> oh, I saw the problem with the angle. It, it seemed like it was going the, at a worse route than uh, anything Sammy did with Bobby Lashley, <laughs> uh, where Sammy couldn't save shit in his promos with Lashley. I, I don't know why Lashley's all happy and jolly and <laughs> almost having like fun with the moment. <laughs> you, you know, he's like. 270 pounds of solid muscle, um, mm -hmm. but he's like, yeah, sits down very like happy, and he he's like a, a roided up version of Apollo Crews. Well, I won't say he's on. He's I don't think he's on roids. Well, all right, all right, all right, I don't think he's on roids. It was it was just a statement. He he's a big Bobby Lashley. I mean, he's a big Apollo Crews, and he's just smiling and happy to be there. Well, that's how Lashley was an impact. No, mm -hmm. you. He was an ass kicker. Uh, oh, that's the last you wanted? Yeah. Are you? If they did Lashley and Lesnar and a track smash on Mania, you wouldn't be able to buy he it. He was an ass kicker. He was a kind of a dick too. So if they did Lashley and Lesnar on Mania next year, not for a title. You won't be able to buy it now. Kind of no. <laughs> like he doesn't take like he doesn't take it seriously. It seems like. Uh, but thank God, it, it, the meditation part is is rather unimportant in the moment. Well, uh, I have a bigger problem with this part. Than a stupid meditation. Because Kevin Owens comes out of nowhere. Well, I don't have much of a problem with it because we didn't continue the meditation route. Yeah, I know, but I'll vlog I'll, 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 it. that part then. Uh, yeah, essentially, Kevin Owens pops up from the crowd and starts attacking Bobby Lashley. Uh, yeah, and, and, and gets a little bit more of an advantage than you would expect. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that they oh, okay. that they didn't uh, at least lengthen or do something else with the I quit angle from my, from uh, Ellen's. Right. Um. That that part I don't like, but uh, at least they saved us from a, another five minutes of meditation with Jinder and Lashley. So you're telling me that Ellen's they really quit Lashley? Apparently not. I uh, I for one am shocked. That they possibly no effort to the ankle, and have and have returned the next week. I'm shocked. Uh, well, I guess that's a new feud. Like, like I'm pretty sure uh, I've read the WCW bo book and heard it on audio tape a couple times. I'm pretty sure Vince Ru something went down like that with Vince Russo. The more they try to say, they're d every time in WCW documentaries have rules different from Nitro, the more it starts to feel like it. Yeah. Like and it's not like 96 WCW, 97 WCW, where the NWO come out and you're the, like, oh, okay, this is going to be a hot angle. Well, to be fair, older veterans, <laughs> they still the show this week. That's yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like 2000 WCW. Oh, that's good. We're like, you, you're, you're done seeing NWO pop on your TV. and this show, was the, show this show wasn't even bad. As much as it was just bizarre. This yeah. this particular rule. It wasn't a good show at all. It was as bizarre as the British Bulldog. Yeah. Uh, but I guess that's a new feud. How the hell am I just now? <laughs> for all I know is they drop it this week. Ah! Uh, this Probably, month. yeah. So, uh, for all we know, I was just so quit like, this week. Yeah. <laughs> and the main event, Braun Strowman defeated Finn Balor. Um... To me, it was clearly the best match of the night, I thought. Right. Um, Nothing stand out, though. Yeah, it, it wasn't anything to stand out. You'll, you'll forget it probably by next week. <coughs> um, I thought it was the worst, best match I've ever shot. Like, yeah. Like that. Pretty much, yeah. This is just a little like, nitpick. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you wanted, uh, I guess, rolls and you were measuring them, like, okay, that one's the... The that longest. one's the biggest and buttery. So. so there you go, that one was. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of having Finn Balor lose again in, in a very dominated fashion. Though. Well, real quick on this. Uh, Isaiah said, Good night. Good night. Uh, they did, he did a poll on Instagram on Tuesday about Finn going to SmackDown. 80% 80 80 of Isaiah's followers said yes. 20 said no. And one person from the 20 comment because Finn is a A superstar. So, and since SmackDown is the B show, 
that A superstar shouldn't be on the B shell because Roll is on is the A shell, so the A super, uh, A superstar should be on the A shell. Where the frick do they call AJ uh, Styles? Uh, well, uh, but you agree that Roll's the bar shell of the two? No. Uh, just remember, our truth may have been smacked. It's a, it's way too. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll get some more of that later. But yeah, that's that's a true statement. Keep right. that in mind. Right. Uh, yeah, it was a solid main event uh, with the goal making Strowman look like a beast and Finn being tortured by uh, Corbin. Mm -hmm. uh, the closest like Randy works out was good as the Hills United and uh, still taller than a full shield. Yeah, they. It, yeah, they united so much that they brought the cruiserweights back. Drew Gulak. Ah! Uh, be, not be Drew Gulak. Right. He teamed up with his GM's guys. Who, the GM that he keeps on running away from. Yeah. But I don't want to my lot. Totally makes sense. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, but from what I see, that Gulak was the one stealing the spotlight on social media, on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was, because he was getting in Roman's face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, good for Nate. What? Well, hey, yeah. if you have that moment to shine on wrong. Might as well take it. Yeah. Good for them, because they probably didn't realize they sent him out. So, no. So good for him to take it. Uh, Side down kicked off with Bree and Brian take off the show. Uh, Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay with Bree in this aspect because. I thought the niche did, because Zelina was good. Yeah, I, I thought that was good. I think Zelina's shoulder like it was Just, whiplash, though. <laughs> however, every time she ran across the ring to the other ropes, I, I got scared. I, yeah, I know, I shot up mode, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was already yelled, don't leave Birdie without a mama. <laughs> uh, I, I, again, I, I, I like Bree with Brian, because Brian's up, Brian and Miz are obviously going to wrestle more than, than Maurice and Bree. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, and if so, it's pretty much Brie going to be beat up. More right. than likely. Uh, yeah, I thought the opening promo was okay. Uh, they had the heels pretty much run, run away from them and saying that the faces run away from them. Right, yeah. So, uh, I, I thought it created a decent heat for Miz and Maurice. And uh, m maybe a little bit of a merry-go-round for the episode, but it, it, it is something relatively newer. For WWE or fresher. Yeah, it was fine as a play off license angle and continue to build to the Hell and Cell mat I mean, to the Hell and Cell pay review. But I will say this, can I please stop having Almas talk? Yeah. You, you his had, English is rather broken. He um, has a mouthpiece for a reason. Yeah, that, that, that that's one of the exact re reasons Vega is with him. Or if so, just have him speak Spanish. Right. Uh, up next, uh, Dale Bryan defeated Andrade Cien Almas. Uh, and, and an excellent match, yeah. probably better than anything on Raw. Hard truth from this was better than anything on Raw. That's true. Uh, and, and to me, I think this was the match of the night. Match of the night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Almas and Brian put them in the ring together, give them ten minutes, and great shit happens. Yeah, uh, it was very good stuff. Uh, they were extremely well together. It kind of, well, I don't want to say it could fall. It kind of sucks right now on dry. I guess it's stuck in the upper mid car window yeah. in terms of not having enough for him to sell it to come off the feud with Rusev today. Yeah, but, but my guess he's in the feud just because literally on the go home show they're going to have Zelina Andrade versus Brian. Bray and Brian. Yeah. Uh, but he continues to work hard. At least he's focused on. Yeah. So he continues to work hard to deliver. Uh, next, thank you for listening to Charlotte. Sound awful on their rivalry. Uh, I, yeah, I thought it was great. Uh, Paige, they're actually booking Paige, maybe accidentally, I don't know, into a really, really smart GM. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you have two people that pretty much want to kill each other in, in the same room, why are you going to have them in the ring face-to-face? -face? Right, yeah. Even with security, that always gets beaten up. Yeah. Uh, so it was smart to actually have them in separate places. Uh... And Becky and Charlotte pretty much just let it rip, rip on each other. Uh, uh, Becky came across as cocky and pretty much a lot sympathetic accident, a lot more sympathetic accidentally. I don't think it was sympathetic accidentally. This week to me, I seen some people on Tuesday night saying it felt like WWE was getting it more right this week. She felt like she was more tweener 
This was healed. This was. She was still the heal. Yeah, I'll agree to that. I think, but it only she was cut. They were to pull him back, pulling the reins back on the heel. Yeah. And got a little bit more tweener. Because even Char Charlotte felt like she was a little bit more heel when she said that you were always in my shadow. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's, it felt like Charlotte's a tweener too. It was getting tweener move, but going a little further, more towards the yeah. heel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Becky, uh, they did, she did, like, turn down the, uh, blaming the fans. Yeah. A lot. She was still the heel to two, but they turned it down a lot. Yeah. Charlotte, they amped it up more. Yeah. Uh, they probably they probably are going to do a double turn relatively soon. Yeah. I'm thinking. We turn to, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good role interview segment. And Cam talked about Ashley Campbell, way better than most uh, WWE women promos. Yeah. Very also promos. Uh, at times it felt a little bit rushed because I think they were talking over each other. But yeah. Other than that, the, the point got across. And in terms of talking naturally for a woman on the main roster, you sh Oh, yeah, I, I don't think those were scripted. Yeah, they they, they sound a human for the woman. Yeah. Because the woman we always say, it doesn't really matter which woman is on the main roster, they all sound like they're, they're robots. <laughs> Except for Tamina. Uh, uh, she don't yeah, pull. the only one that could probably pull off the script is Alexa. Yeah, well, we're going to sit with the right people. Yeah. She gets the, she gets, she gets the bullet points. Uh, you sit in the cup. All right. She doesn't, she doesn't necessarily get great material. She just makes it sound better. Yeah. Uh, on next, Naomi defeated Peyton Royce. Uh, yeah, so Peyton Royce gets her loss. Back. Back. <laughs> no, she gets her win back. Yeah. The, I think the world is uh, back in motion. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're back in the right place now. Uh, I was about the same length as last week's match, <laughs> but way better. Yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> Yeah, I think Naomi works better with Peyton than she does Billy. Yeah. Uh, and then mm -hmm. at the end, Iconics gang up, try, try to get their heat back on Naomi, and surprise, surprise, Oscar returns, mm -hmm. and uh, handily takes care of the Iconics. Surprisingly. Not unsurprisingly. Oh. Oh, yes. Did you kind of think they were going to take her out with the Chase K? No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Naomi finally got some revenge, I found a friend. So it was pretty solid. She found a friend. <laughs> uh, oh, let's the bar. Uh, I'll next, uh... Uh, Sam Samoa Joe warned AJ's door and then AJ could his ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get any uh, barbecue segments because yeah. the uh, on the road segment was given to Brian and Miz <laughs> yeah. uh, because Miz and Maurice went to restaurant. an Italian restaurant yeah. uh, in, in Detroit. Uh, so Joe, <laughs> Joe comes out Trash talks AJ. AJ gets on the big uh, Titan Tron, pretty much saying that he's gonna kick Joe's ass. And then AJ shows up in the arena. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, he may still look like a bad father. Joe is making him look like a bad father yeah. when there's a legitimate threat to his family mm -hmm. and his home. But but he's at the arena. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and pretty much AJ continues to beat down from Brooklyn. A page, all I meant she has was able to stop a brawl yeah. <laughs> on her own. A little bit official, but but she didn't need to claw out the whole locker room. It's, instead of Baron Corbin just going, or or angle even too. <laughs> <laughs> Paige went in there and got me between these two huge, well huge for AJ next to Paige, <laughs> two huge men <laughs> next to her, and and was able to stop AJ. If she's on the no bump list, so you can't uh, bump into her. Right, if I angle Corbin. <laughs> I was just going on the phone, remember that time? I can't it's happening! Mean, that's why I have a Brian. It's happening! And Brian's just standing there. <laughs> it's happening, it's happening. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, those South segment ball up their Hell Cell mashup at the pay per view. Uh, up next, uh, Rusev Day. Defeat Uso is a Sandy to advance to face the bars next week in the normal contender song. Yeah, a very, very, very good uh, tag team triple threat, I thought. Yeah. Uh, pr probably a little better than the one last week, I, I would say. Oh, yeah. Uh, just because it didn't include... It didn't necessarily... Include need, colognes. Yeah, it didn't necessarily need the colognes. They were pretty much just add-on to make it a triple threat. Right. Uh... <sighs> So this one, I thought all three teams did well together. 
Yeah, it was a good, fun, tiny match that never slowed. On top of that, it was a happy we said that. Yeah. Uh, and the main event, the Miz, uh, Art, well, you know, you know what I'm saying, Miz, uh, R-Truth defeat the Miz. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say. In the main event, R-Truth. <laughs> yeah. In 2018. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a forget championship run R-Truth, so. Yeah. Uh, well, at least we'll, at least we'll be entertained by R-Truth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when he gets pushed, he comes out in a confederate uniform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and turns Carmella face. Right. I likeable. Yeah. Uh, it, it was actually strangely a good R Truth match. What? what you sound like he's a terrible wrestler. He, he's not. A, he's not a terrible wrestler. But how many like great R Truth matches mm -hmm. can you think of? You're making sound like he's a terrible wrestler. I'm not. He's a good enough hand. Yeah. He, well, he's a solid hand. You could. You could definitely take an ass whipping, and he's entertaining. Right. Uh, that's pretty much primarily what he uses. And he for. taught Ty how to get to the main event of SmackDown. Yeah, he <laughs> he, he essentially carried his way into the main event of SmackDown yeah. uh, by pretty much calling everybody every blonde chick he saw Carmella. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so who who who's the fool? I guess. Uh, and and our truth put on an excellent match that you don't always say from our truth. Yeah, uh, it was probably a solid match. Was was here to sell. Truth and Carmel for the mixed match challenge, and it's on the post match angle, and for build up the next side to hell and uh, sell. Uh, up next to find live action, my young classic. See you then.